Luis Caravaggio, the artist formerly known as Louis Blaca. What's good, my brother? Can you hear me? See me? Yo, 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 I got you. How's it going, my brother? Good. Is that is that the is that the political answer or the real answer? That's the political answer. I feel you, my brother. I feel you. It's been tough. It's been hard. No, nah, it's been challenging. It's been challenging. Yeah, I always say that. How is everything? Shit, man. You know, just uh, trying to improvise and innovate and, uh, you know, make moves. Can and pivot, right? Pivot. So, so, so I, have you ever used Zoom before? Yeah, I've done a few podcasts on it before, but I've never used it for my personal use. Dope, dope. So, so just to reiterate, what was, what, what, what was your question? What are you trying to do? And then we'll try and, like, figure it out together. All right, so, um, so basically what I'm trying to do is host live workshops, um, almost like live webinars, and then also do one-on-one -on -one client meetings where I can give instruction, individual instruction one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so group classes and one-on-one -on -one classes, also live classes. Awesome. So first of all, awesome move and you doing that. I think that's uh, definitely a way to go to, to, use the, to use technology to do the live workshops right um so there's there's a couple ways you can approach it definitely the easiest way is probably going on youtube and just going live same thing with going on facebook and going live so i'm just going to go ahead and share my screen just to kind of show you can you see my screen mm -hmm. so on youtube over here literally when you go up here create a video go live right and when you go live what it does it, 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 it where are you at okay i had your screen your screen was black oh yeah you can move you can move the little icon i mean the little videos around so so yeah you go up here and this little this little uh icon create a video more usually you do upload video but you could just go live when you go live um the web browser is going to ask you for uh permission for the for the camera and the microphone and you could just go ahead and fill all this stuff out, hit next, stream, and then go ahead and manage. But then that, what that just does is it makes your camera, whatever camera is connected to your computer, I think you're on a laptop right now, is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so whatever your camera is, your laptop camera, it's just gonna go ahead and stream it live, right? So that's probably the easiest thing to do because it's, it's just one and done. Um, What's great about YouTube is that it, it does save it so that you can use it for later. Same thing with Facebook, right? So it's, it's a very similar method. I actually have never done it on Facebook, but I don't mind kind of like just going in here and, and kind of figuring it out with you. Um, let's see, even if we create a post. Uh, nah, I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. Oh, right here, live. Boom. You click that. And I'm sure, yeah, you see it's already accessing my camera. It's about to, you know, fill all these things out. And you can even switch which cameras to use, which microphone to use, and then go live, right? I think that's probably the easiest thing. Now, what I've done in the, in the, in the past, well, let me stop there. That, any questions right there? Um, the question about YouTube. So you've done YouTube before? I haven't. I haven't. What I've, what I've done before is actually Twitch, twitch.tv. So are you familiar with Twitch? I've heard of it. I have never used it though. So, so Twitch is a completely live streaming uh, platform initially catered towards video gamers. And that's why you see a lot of video games in the front screen. Yeah. However, if you go to browse, and um, check out the categories. There is an artist um, slash creative community within Twitch. So I think right here, even if we go to art, let's see what happens here. Yeah, these are all the different art channels that are live right now. And this is fascinating because the way people go live, I'm gonna let this ad kind of run without, without music. Um, the way people go live on Twitch is a little bit, I would say it's the next level up, right? And the reason why I say that is because going live on YouTube and Facebook just directly is just one camera, one screen. 
Whereas when you go live on Twitch, you're able to use multiple cameras and a whole different interface. So you see, this is, this is one screen that we're looking at, at this person, you know, drawing, but we have an overhead shot. Plus we have like a camera of her underneath, I mean, on the bottom right corner. She's also cut out. That's correct. Right. And then there's also a little chat uh, situation going up on the top right corner. And um, there's even a counter of, of her, I think that's her, her screen name or her you know, username, how many tips she's gotten so far, and then um, the latest person that, that probably liked or subscribed to her Twitch. She even has up here what she's listening to, like <laughs> the Paper Mario Overworld soundtrack. So, kinda, so I, I saw this and I was fascinated because I'm like, wow, you could just put so many different things and go live with that. How do you do that? Right? That was my question. So I looked it up and what a lot of people end up using is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Now this is the, 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 the next level of broadcasting because this is a free piece of software you could get it on Windows, Mac, or Linux, right? <clears throat> and this is, yeah, this is the basic interface um, let me see if I could just open mine up to kind of like explain it a little bit better. But uh, so far, so good. Yep. That's so, actually crazy. that's crazy. It's dope, right? Uh, that's lit. So let me let me minimize this guy. Let me come over here. Right. So check this out. Can you see my OBS interface? Yeah. Okay. So. Whatever is on the right screen over here is what people are going to see if I go live. What people, what, what I, what, whatever is over here is sort of what, what I'm prepping to go live. So this is, this is a way where I can switch cameras and, and, and show people different things. So, you know, like when you watch any TV show, right, there's a shot of the guy talking and then maybe there's a shot and I'm talking about like a live TV show. So like a, either, either news or like uh, maybe even ESPN or anything. There's a shot of a, of a, of, of the guy talking and then maybe the audience shot. So someone is controlling those different cameras for you to see live. This is what this does pretty much, right? It lets you control the different cameras that are connected to the computer for your audience to see. So over here, it may seem a little confusing, but on this screen over here, I have my little face down here, and I have embedded a logo right here, the Lucent logo, and then it's a, it's a screen share. So if I hit transition, now this is what people are gonna be seeing when I go live or when I record. So I have used OBS to, to start streaming, right, to start going live, or to even simply record me switching from the screen and then, you know, back to, you know, full, full face sort of front and center, just me. Then, Hey, let me show you my screen again. Then I go back to it over here. Yeah. <laughs> you said lit. Nah, yeah, it's lit as fuck. Yeah, it's dope. So, so then over here, these scenes are the different things that you set up. So like, for example, let me see, let me put you over here so I can still see you. Um, so for example, right here, you see I have like an outer red box. That is my monitor screen. I can hide it, you know, and I, I even have my, my uh, I have a Logitech Brio HD camera. So it's a webcam that's attached on top of my monitor. So that's what this is and I could put it wherever I want. You know, I can bring this back. Um, I think at some point I had like a timer going. So there was a timer over here to like just show, you know, how, how long things are taking. But then you can do all sorts of scenes, right? So this scene is just front and center with a logo. This is my, hey, I'll be right back uh, uh, splash page. Reason I had this is because when you go back to Twitch, let me see, on Twitch, you know, she's live right now. But if we go to somebody who's maybe not live, I think everybody here is live, but let's say we're following a channel and, and they're not live and you go to their channel, this is what can show up. Hey, be right back. I'm on a short break. 
or it'd be like, hey, um, you know, uh, we, we stream every Tuesdays at 8 p.m., you know, and that'll, that'll tell people to come back. And it's kind of like a little, a little going away message, but it's full screen right there on their channel. And I found that interesting too. And that's why I started sort of like branding this and, and messing around with Twitch because you're, you're able to kind of like do all this through the OBS software. Now, that being said though, OBS software, you're also able to stream to YouTube and to Facebook. So OBS is like your control center of like how you want your whole stream to look. Yo, 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 yo. Yeah. Uh, I lost you when you went to Twitch. Oh, no. <laughs> you lost me? When you went to Twitch for the last second, I lost you. The, the, the second time or the yeah. first time? The second time. Okay, so I was saying that uh, if we, let's say if we go to Twitch over here, I mean, everybody here is live. But if, if you went to a channel that, like, they were not live in, mm -hmm. uh, instead of showing, you know, their, their live screen, they would show a splash image, something like this, that would just say whatever message they want. So for me, I'd be like, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going for a short break. Or you could, you know, design this in Photoshop and say, I stream every Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Come back then. You know, so I found it really interesting just from a branding perspective how different people brand their, their channels, right? And people have like the big screen, a little screen, maybe a third screen, you know, and, and, and they design it however they want. So even so, over here, yeah, go ahead. On that splash page, so basically people use that, so they leave that there for the entire day until they come back live? Correct, correct. So like, let's see, for example, if, uh, if we go to Twitch, Twitch.tv slash uh, Steve Lucen. I think that's my thing. Yeah, I said offline. I'll be back, though. Got it. Not really, though. I haven't been back since last year. Because <laughs> I was exploring this. I was having fun. Yeah. Um, and I was creating a lot of content before. Like, I was producing. But now, you know, I've sort of just... Uh, started moving my role as a, as a director. So I haven't produced as much content as I used to, but this is still something that's in my mind to be able to live stream things. Does that make sense? Yep. So, so OBS is your control center. Now that's again, if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced and kind of have two different angles, if you had two different cameras connected to your laptop, um, and, and, and put like a nice little interface and brand it, that would be the way to go. If you want to just get started right away and be like, Hey, we're going live and just test it out. Um, you could even do OBS too, and just, you know, do a simple little, a little uh, screen just like this, or just do it directly on YouTube, directly on Facebook. I don't know if you could do it directly on Twitch. I'm not quite sure with that. Gonna stop sharing. So and that's when that chick had the multiple views. You obviously have to have multiple cameras set up, right? Correct. Yeah. So so people geek out on 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 Twitch and here. Actually, let me let me share again and let's just try and find something that's that's pretty dope. Can you see my screen? Yep. Um, uh, I think. Let's see. Discover. Let's go back to browse. And yeah, like I said, there's a whole art community, right? So we can even put um, search tags, painting, right? Uh, just regular painting. And this chick is live right now. Uh, this person, let's see, this one has multiple cameras. Oh, that's right. So Twitch has a lot of advertisements. But this is also another way that a lot of artists get uh, some sort of income. If they're able to have a lot of streamers, people can donate to your page. And um, there's a whole big community on, on making money on Twitch. So, damn, another commercial. But right here, there's 119 people, I think, uh, yeah, watching now. And then it's, it's had a million views from this person completing Voldis. Patreon live event commission giveaway bonus. Oh yeah, check it out, right? So he has a, a, a web camera in front of him 
He has a overhead camera, like of what he's painting. And then what's this over here? This looks like his palette. So he has a camera on his palette. And uh, yeah, he's trying to reach a goal of donations, it looks like. So people are doing that. And then, yeah, and then the look, like just the way he branded his, his little view counts and all that stuff. So, so doing, so adding sort of these little, these little plugins and power ups of like counters and stuff. That's a whole nother program, which I haven't even really that dived into, but I think it's called Streamlabs for OBS. Streamlabs, the best free tool for live streamers and gamers. So this lets you add sort of these little pop-ups and, and chat widgets and all this other stuff. Yeah. And you're able to broadcast to Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and Facebook. Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's cool though, right? No, it's, that's lit. It's a whole nother world. And I was exploring this last year. I'm like, oh, this is amazing. So, so for me and Alex, right, the, the designs, I need a VJ. Um, we, we designed the whole layout for to, to live stream of us VJing, like a camera on us, what we're looking at, so the projection, and also a camera um, on our controller. And so you could like kind of see everything at the same time with some, I need a VJ branding on it, you know? And then, so designing that layout is kind of cool, but then you, you, you make sure you use OBS to kind of broadcast that. Um, and then there's, and then there's zoom, which is also the, 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 the tool that we're using right now. Zoom. I mean, right now I'm recording, right. But if you could, if you go into your settings within zoom, um, and then, turn on live streaming. Like for me on the bottom of my, of my uh, uh, window, my zoom window, I click on more and I could go live on Facebook, live on workplace by Facebook or live on YouTube. So like if, if we're just doing a straight up screen sharing and whatever zoom lets me do, I can just make this whole session go live as well. Wow. So you can go live on Facebook just through this app. Just through zoom. Yeah. <laughs> Why he's smiling? Because <laughs> this is a whole, there's a whole new freaking universe, man. It's a whole other world for sure, for sure. And I'm not even a pro at it, but I've explored it and I understand it. And I'm like, yeah. Especially now, like I'm trying to push like David and everybody. I'm like, yo, let's go live. Let's do something live. Everybody's at home. Let's just, yeah. you know, do anything live. Yeah. Now's the um, time, man. Now, now's the time. Now is the time. Everybody's just shifting to technology. Um, Any other questions? Yeah, so this would also, if I wanted to do like a group session, not live, but like a group meeting, this would be, Zoom would be useful, right? Very good. So Zoom would definitely be one of the ways that I, I suggest. Um, Google Hangouts is free. Everybody has a Gmail account. And, 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 and it's, uh, everybody could be in a Google Hangout, right? But um, with Zoom, you just have a little bit more control. Like you can mute people. You can, you can have people in a waiting room. I think when you, when you were, when you just, you know, joined this Zoom meeting, I had you in a waiting room and then I admitted you. So you could do that. Mm -hmm. um, you just have a lot of different, different controls within Zoom. The only thing with Zoom is that it's uh, the free version only allows 40 minutes. Of a, of a meeting, then you have to kick everybody off and come back on. So that's annoying. And also, uh, I think you're limited to the amount of people that are, that can be in the room in the zoom room. So it's $15 a month. If you end up subscribing, then that, that limitation gets lifted and you can have up to a hundred people in a zoom room. Mm. If you wanted to host a webinar, that's an add on. I think it's another 40 bucks a month or something, or it totals out to 40 bucks a month. I forget. But with a webinar, you're able to uh, also have a little bit more control. Like you can have uh, uh, people as panelists, so to speak. So they have some sort of control in the room as well. Gets a little techy, but I think for your purposes, um, just doing probably the basic one is fine. And you saw how when I gave you stevelucen.com slash zoom, I had like a link. 
so that you get your own personal uh, Zoom link. So you, that's the one that you would share if you wanted people to join in. But again, if you just do the basic one, you're maxed at 100 people, which I think is still a good amount. Yeah, so you, you're subscribed to the basic? I just, yeah, I just subscribed to it last week. Because I do host a lot of meetings anyway, so I'm moving from Google Hangouts to Zoom. Oh, and I love, and I, oh yeah, I used to use Google Hangouts for years. I love, I love Zoom because it can just do automatic recording and it gives you the MP4. And me as a, as a content creator, I'm able to just record our meetings and kind of just edit them a little bit, add some branding and post on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay away from paying for anything right now, I think. Yeah. What I'm going to have to do is just work with the, the free version for now, even if it's 40 minutes and limited people. Um, yeah, or just use Google Hangouts. Um, let me try, try and think. What's the benefit of you doing it live versus the benefit of you just doing it a uh, recording one way? So the model I'm trying to use is have the live events, right? And have those free. Um, people can come, uh, watch the live event, participate, follow along, paint along, but they're only going to be available for that period of time, the live. Whatever hour or 30 minutes it is, it's going to be available then. That's it. So I plan to record that and then stash it into an archive. And if people want to pay to have access to those live uh, videos, then they can pay for that. Or they can pay for one-on-one -on -one sessions. Um, and I may have free downloadable sessions, but they're going to be very short, you know, very basic. Uh, but the more intricate classes or instruction is going to be, have to be paid for. Um, and then maybe once in a while I have a group session that's paid for, which is more in depth, um, you know, that kind of business model. I would, I would, so I would start with just doing those short ones that you're, you're going to put out for free practice with that. Cause mm -hmm. that, that seems less overwhelming you know it's easier to just record you have the you have the luxury of editing it afterwards yeah. you know but if it's just short whatever it is five to 30 minutes um you'll start practicing you know being in front of the camera seeing how it looks and and then once you have a, a few of those under your belt you better like, yo let's do this live i could do this live and then yeah. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. So that's, that's my plan, but trying to keep costs as low as possible is zero. So I'm just going to have to work with, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think if, 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 if you, if you do go with what I said and do the short ones, I mean, that's free. Right. And I mean, the, the, the short ones that are not live, right. You could do that on OBS. OBS is free. Um, and, and you could just record on OBS, um, even on zoom, download the free one. You could record up to 40 minutes. So that's free. Um, Google Hangouts, you can't record from, from my understanding. And, um, Google Hangouts, you can't record, but there's no limit as to how many people can join or time limit on how long you can record. I, I don't, I don't think there are limits and, and, I, and I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure there's no uh, time limit. Yeah, so there's a give and take in all of this. So that might be, it might be useful. Both might actually work. Because I can do, you know, I can do live ones and just have them as like throwaways. You know, they don't have to necessarily be recorded. Um, mm. just, just, to give free, just to give free access, like a free webinar, you know, when people, I guess, that, like yeah. a lead, lead gen. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lingo, but... Just something to get them involved in that. And then, I mean, and then there's, there's other softwares and programs out there. I mean, there's GoToMeeting. There's, um, I don't know, a bunch of other ones. I just haven't really explored them. These are the tools that I've explored. The ones I just told you. There's Google Hangouts, Zoom, OBS, Streamlabs, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. <laughs> I got some work ahead of me, bro. Yeah, man. All right, cool. I'm glad you. I'm glad you learned, right? 
learned something. And I was just getting your hands dirty with it. 